Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Amazis Look here. I hope you're all over that Chelsea debauchery that happened yesterday. Um, this is our preview for the, uh, the Europa League Conference game. We start our campaign for this wonderful trophy here. Um, against the team we've got history against. We've played them twice before. A game I remember really, really well was um, against... They're formerly known as Star of Bucharest. They're now known as FC, FCSB. That's a mouthful. Um, and obviously, it will be kicking off at the London Stadium. Let's talk a little bit about their history. Um, they have actually won the European Cup, known as the Champions League now, back in 1985. And then there was the runners-up in 1988. Um, this is a really, you know, a team with good history. Uh, finished second in their league last year. Um, like I say, we have played them twice before um, in the competition that used to be known as the UA. UEFA Cup, uh, obviously now known as Europa League. Um, it was the second round of qualifying after our fantastic campaign in the Intertoto Cup where we beat Mets and you know that fantastic memorable night. The next game in that competition that we played to get into the round um, was Stour Bucharest. Um, it was when we was out there, you know, it was the great team, you know, the Lampards, the Canio, Sinclair, Mark Vivian, Foes. Um, and it was a rare mistake from West Ham legend Stevie Potts, um, who actually was at fault, I believe, for their second goal. Um, and we was 2 0 down, and we had to bring it back to Upton Park. I went to the game at Upton Park, and all I remember about that game is we must have had 18, 20 shots, and just nothing went in. It was 0 0 in the game at Upton Park, and unfortunately, we went out that night. Um, to, again, we was very inexperienced at Europe at the time. You know, it was our first time back in Europe for such a long, long time. And then we had that huge gap um, where we played another Romanian team, Astra Gugu, where, you know, we haven't got a good history against the Romanian team. So I'm, I'm slightly nervous um, going into this game. Um, just looking, they lost their last game, 3-1, to Faro Constanta. Constanta, a beautiful place in Romania, right near the beach, that is. Um, they are they finished second last year this season though not doing too well um they've played seven they're sitting in 13th they've only won one game drawn four and lost two they're not they're not in good form but they are one of the bigger teams out there um i did a few bit, bits of research in terms of the way they play obviously it's really hard to find stuff on the romanian league um they changed their formation they can they either play the 4 3 3 formation or a 4 2 3 1 um when I looked into their scout, and a lot of the season last year, they put, it's listed as they like to play a Burnley-style defence. You know, they throw bodies in front of the ball, uh, but they're quite comfortable in possession, um, and they like to play the long ball up and to, up to the target man. Um, their key players is a guy called Tanasi. I don't know whether that's pronounced correctly. Um, he's attacking midfielder who can play centre forward. Um, scored a lot of goals last year. Likes to play the false nine. Comes deep, sort of that Harry Kane style. Obviously not as good as Harry Kane, but likes to play that sort of style where he drags the defenders into midfield or the midfielders back and it creates a bit of um you know a bit of confusion between the players. Um their other good player is a really good fast winger called Octavian Popescu. Um incredibly fast, tricky and skill skillful player. Um listen that's that's about it really that I can say like I said they come on the ball, they like to play the long long ball. But they're not in good form at the moment. But neither are we, really, are we? Let's be fair. Um, this is a game we should win. Um, you know, we're at home. Um, fans hopefully will be well up for it. You know, hopefully hoping for a really good campaign this year. Um, I think the game over there might be a bit more difficult. Um, you know, they're a big team, like I say, 55,000 seat stadium. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, um, we'll have Skamaka back for this game to start this game. What will he do with Corne? Will he start Corne? Or will he see Corne as a sort of player to play against Newcastle now after coming on and you know nearly having such a huge impact on the game? Um, you'd expect Emerson to play this game as well, just to get some more minutes in him, just to keep him going with the team. Um, Oggy will probably play this game as well, where Iola will be back. Uh, probably Kerber will play with Oggy, um, and then Soufal on the right hand side. Or maybe Ashby may go with Ashby. You know, obviously now Ashby stayed. Will he give Ashby some minutes? You would expect Declan Rice to play this game with Socek. Um I'd play Paqueta as well. I think we you know, these earlier games we need to get the um you know, get the points on the board and then if we 
can do what we did last year where we you know play the kids in the last couple of games then that will be a bonus for us but yeah most important thing is to get ourselves through get ourselves you know into that next bit after christmas um yeah six games to enjoy now hopefully we can do that um ben Rahm will probably start this game as well because obviously he hasn't been starting the premier league games but he has been quite impactful when he has come on um and i'd like to see Moyes. you know a lot of people have been saying about this big team mentality that you know, he talks a good game that he wants to compete with the big teams. To be honest with you, in, in a competition like this, we have to believe we are the big team. We are one of the big fries in this competition that should go on and try to win this game. Um, you know, I want to see a little bit more attacking, not, not so negative with the style. In the Premier League, I can understand it to a certain extent because uh, the quality is slightly higher. But, yeah, in this in this competition, we, we need to be going at teams. You know, not, not this sit back all the time. Let's try and try and develop a new style of football for ourselves in this competition that hopefully we can transition it into the Premier League. This is a chance we can do this. Like I say, this is a competition we can win. It pleased me nothing more to see Declan Rice lifting this thing in May. Um, but yeah, we've got to believe in ourselves. We really, really have got to believe in ourselves. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Like I say, I'm over the Chelsea thing now. Um, still, obviously, it hurts because we'll get an apology from the FA. But, um, you know, it takes nothing back, does it? 100 away now. Like I, say, I keep saying that every video, but it, go, it fluctuates for between 95 and 100. But it's about 97 away now from 4K, which would be amazing if we can hit that. I'm really looking forward to this European campaign and, you know, just using it as a distraction from the league and try to, you know, find some form from somewhere and a different way of playing. Until next time, guys. Thank you so, so much. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, I didn't do a prediction. Sorry, I will do a quick prediction. I think we'll win this one. I think we'll win it 2-1. Um, I think we'll just have enough. I think Skamaka will score as, as well if he's fit. Yeah, until next time, guys. Come on, your own. Keep believing. Let's go. Time is massive. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go.